Hello everyone, welcome back for more. Let's play the Pokemon Red Randomizer. So last we left off, we finally made it through Mount Moon, and now we're in Cerulean City. Home of the second gym. And yeah, this is about the point where we will meet Bill, isn't it? If I recall, we gotta go down a path to actually free up the rest of the game. It's been a while since I've talked to anybody. But, I had a request to actually look at the Pokedex. In such a sorry state as it is. And all of these that I do not own will look roughly like this. You'll get to see a picture, you'll get to see their number, you'll see their name, you'll see their quote-unquote type, the seed Pokemon here, but we don't know anything about them. However, we can hear their cry, and we can look where Wild Ivysaur might actually exist. I believe that's Route 9. So yeah, we can do that if we really want to. If I want to go through here and play Gotta Catch Em All at the very end of the game, I can go through here and all the ones I've run into will be here. But so far I've seen Ivysaur, Charmeleon, Charizard, Metapod, Butterfree, Weedle, Kakuna, Beedrill, Raticate, Spiro, Ekans, Raichu, the female Nidoran, the Nidorina, the male Nidoran, the Nidorino, the Clefairy, the Ninetales, I haven't seen a Vulpix yet, Golbat, Oddish, Gloom, the Paris that we've caught, Diglett, Dugtrio, and just to show you if you wanted to catch more of them with this seed, yeah, it shows them as being available like right at the very beginning. So this does, this uh, emulator and this ROM hack. I should say this ROM hack, the emulator is not going to be updated. But the ROM hack is updated to show you exactly where all of the Pokemon actually are. But there's Diglett and Dugtrio, Mankey, Growlithe, the Polyrath, the Abra, which are available out in the wild. We just haven't reached those points yet. Machoke, Bellsprout, Tentacruel, Ponyta, Slowpoke, Slowbro, Magneton, Farfetch, Doduo, Dodrio, Muck, Shelter, Hypno, Krabby, Execute, Executor, Cubone, Hitmanly, Weezing, Horsey, Golding, Seeking, Magmar, Pinsir, No Electabuzz yet, Magikarp, Gyarados, the Lapras that I have caught because I wanted to catch a Lapras. Which are apparently fairly populous. Which isn't bad. Eevee have a few areas that they can pop up in. Didn't run into an Eevee when we were going through Mount Moon. Very strange. Oh well. But even the Pokemon that were picked out for starters are available outside of the, uh, outside of just being a starter. But yeah, we have seen way too many of the final stage We've seen way too many of the final stage. Haven't run into Mew yet. But apparently, Mewtwo is about to be a wild Pokemon. Yeah. Anyway, no idea what the legendary Pokemon are going to be. But there we go. That is our Pokedex for the moment. It will probably get bigger and fuller as we go. And now, if I am not mistaken, we cannot advance out of this town until we do two things. One, we're going to have to beat the gym. And two, we're going to have to go hunt down Bill. But let's look around town first. Because I believe they actually tell you about this stuff at points. The bike shop. Yeah, we don't have a million. 
We do not have a million. It'd be funny if you could steal one from Misty, but, you know. Then you'll never use it. You've paid that much for one and you're not gonna use it. Amusing is a word for it, I guess. And in fact there is. Which you should already know if you've played these games. Okay, let's see what the trade is. No, I don't even have a Meowth. Sorry. Oh yeah, you. We will get to meet you later. Can't get to you right now. None of them. We do not need to hear about the badges. Yes, they do interesting things. And yeah. It's kind of a hint that some houses have back doors. But that back door leads nowhere particularly interesting. Fair enough. But we want to get into that house, and we will not get into that house until we go find Bill. Because getting into that house allows us back there, which allows us actually out of this town and onward with our journey. May eh, taking a nap. Leave for Slowbro alone. Yeah, you just have Pokeballs. I mean, I'm kind of interested in the other things, but not enough to spend the what little money I actually get. Come on. But a few potions is not a bad thing. 20 hit points. Crazy licks. Couple of Moonstones for our collection. Assuming we ever actually run into a Pokemon that needs them. Yeah. Still can't get a bike. That comes later. So there are two things we can do. As I've said, I spent eight minutes just kind of wandering around showing off the Pokedex. Let's take care of this one now. We should be strong enough. I hope we're strong enough. Moist. Misty is now moist. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Ah, did not mean to talk to you again. Let me go. And I have a cat sitting directly in front of me, staring at me. So let's go ahead and take out trainers for some extra dough. Who knows what they're actually going to use. Swimmer becomes tan line, apparently. Oh good, you're using poison Pokemon. Or formerly poison Pokemon, anyway. Aww. Gonna waste another Hyper Beam on you. Poison Pokemon that knows Psychic. Huh. That's unique.
just wasn't quite enough. Sorry, rubbing my eye and my hands in the way of the microphone there. Oh, a legitimate ghost type. Well, used to be anyway. Let's bring you out. Get our much choke some experience. Super Fang. That knows fighting moves. Fair enough. Yeah, I should have been super fake. Oh well. This is starting to hurt. It knows soft boiled. You're going to be an annoying one, aren't you? Yep, keep healing yourself. It's all you're going to do, isn't it? going absolutely nowhere. Okay, fine. Swap out and do something that has major damage on it. Double kick. Oh, good, that does nothing. Haunter. Good against grass moves. Fair enough. A bat against poison. Hmm. I guess Haunter is a grass type now. Yes, you can. You cheap so-and-so. Yep, let's see it. Jazzy Hands. Okay, that's a good name for that one. Jazz Hands. Jazzy Hands. I know what you are. Okay, I don't remember your typing, but, you know. Oh, I got no experience. But I'll get money. kind of overwhelmed yourself. At least you made up for your partner down there. Uh -huh. We'll see about that. Just as soon as I get back from the Pokemon Center. Conveniently located on Route 66. Or right next to the gym. One of the two. So she's not going to have the recovering star me that always gives me fits. So I think this is going to be much easier than normal. Okay, moist. Shove him in the PC, usually. 
You're not gonna have a single water type, are you? Not even anything that used to be water type. Hi, Moist. Oh, you actually do! You have a Seedra! Nifty! Hyper Beam! X Defense. Aww! Yep, you're gonna be useless. Dead nose bone meringue, huh? And it's gonna pretty much KO poor polio again. Never thought I'd say that. Ah. Well, instead of just wasting you. Karate Chop, nothing. So you are part ghost type, apparently. That's swell. Hmm. I just want paralysis. And now we pull out the big gun, who's probably still going to get just destroyed. Why is everything super weak to this? Everything I have is super weak to Boomerang? I don't think Super Fang's gonna work. I can mimic... Quit criticaling me. This is going swimmingly. And yes, I use that on purpose. Jeez. Really, game? Everything has been super weak. I literally can't beat her. Okay. Change of plans. I'm going to lose horribly now. So. I will be right back. My change of plan just got increasingly unfair. Just to let you know. Okay, so my plan went a little better than I expected, even though the yeah, Articuno are wild in that little patch of grass. Just to show you. Along with a few new types, I may go back and show them off. But you go back here, yeah. This little patch of grass, yeah, wild Articuno. Go figure. I tried throwing a Pokeball at one, I missed. Flat out, missed. 
I was annoying. But anyway, I'm pretty sure the catch rates for all these Pokemon stay the same, so me and my pathetic four or five Pokeballs I have would not have been enough to catch that Articuno. But anyway, my plan. Yes. This dude... Where'd you go? Here you go. This dude! He is Ice Ground. Bone Meringue, being the type that it is, I believe... Oh, come on, where'd you go? I had the list right in front of me of what attacks were strong against what. Because those didn't change. Come on, where'd you go? But yeah, that Bone Meringue was indeed strong against at least one subtype of just about every Pokemon I had. But it is not strong against Ice or Ground. Yeah, it's strong against Fire and Poison, and that makes up most of my types. So yeah, I need to worry about Ground types, even though I won't know what type Ground type attacks I'm facing until I face them. But yeah, this little dude I caught much earlier... Level 18 now, has learned Swords Dance, which makes Fury Attack actually scary. And this dude learned Earthquake. So now I have a very strong attack. I can try to whittle down that uh, Cedra early on. So anyway. Let's go see if we can actually beat the gym leader now that I'm not weak. That I don't have four out of five Pokemon that are completely weak to her attacks. You would have water types. Okay, Polio. I don't want to say the next words that came out of my mouth because it's really bad. I'm sure you can guess, though. Bingo! Okay. Okay. That was all I really needed to do, was level up Polio and get Earthquake. God, this sounds more wrong every time I say it. A bell sprout? Yeah. Aww. Seismic toss. Fair enough. We have to survive this. Submission. Ow. Yeah, fighting type does crush normal. Let's see if Clambake has anything to say about this. Not surviving, am I? Hmm. At least Clambake is fast. Here we go. Let's keep you in and see if Fury Attack might just do something. Nah, no, it's not gonna finish him off, is it? No. Sadly. A good number and a lucky crit would have done wonders. Oh, good number did it by itself. Nifty. Moist. Misty is moist. And 2,000 monies. 
22,000 Poké Dollars. And now we can use Cut whenever we want. But we need the HM to do it. Our favorite TM has been turned into... Submission. Okay, fair enough. No. I don't think I have a type that is fighting that will benefit from it. I do like the move, don't get me wrong. But, with that nice little side trick to go level up a Pokemon from level 3 to level 18 so I can make sure I beat that gym, with that aside, I think I'm going to take a break. When we return, yeah, we kind of got to go up the north route. I believe it's Route 24. Hmm. Anyway, take care, folks. I will see you back next time for more.